Hello and happy Friday. So, I think it's all our videos, so, the way it is. But, it's been a standard day today, really. So, I've been in work most of the day. It's not been a gym day, so it's just once and back to and from the car. Which means the steps today is so far on 5,133 steps. Um, which puts my week at 36,581. So I've beaten the week goal and it's only Friday. That's, yeah, perfect. Uh, which means everything from tomorrow onwards is a bonus. Um, but we should still go for it anyway. Put that down. Uh, I've just been doing my online shop as well um, using Asda's wonderful website. This time I'm actually going to go collect it at their lockers. I've booked to go see go to their lockers sometime during the day tomorrow. Um, and that's hopefully going to be a fairly easy affair. But we'll, we'll have to just see. I've never done the lockers before, so I don't know how it's actually going to turn out. But we'll, we'll see when we get there. Um, food today. Pancakes for breakfast. Now... I was going to try making more pancakes, but whilst I was shopping in Tesco's yesterday getting the ice cream, I actually spotted some bird's eye pancakes. Was it bird's eye? I think it was. Um, which were already made. All you do is you slot them into the... Um, I'm looking at what it is, by the way. <laughs> you slot them into the toaster. It was bird's eye. Uh, for three or four minutes till they're golden basically and it's done and I put some syrup over them as well this is not going to be a continuing thing though because having looked into it that was the only packet on the shelf there's only one packet there with six pancakes in my sister said I'm allowed two each time which is fine uh, I'll probably only get in two with my, making my own anyway and the shelf said reduced to clear so even though there were 75 P, I think it was. Pennies, basically. Uh, I don't think I'll see them again, which is a shame. But we'll, we'll keep an eye out, see what alternatives we have coming uh, up as possibilities. Uh, lunch was jacket potato, cheese, and beans. Yeah. Uh, I went to put this in the microwave, realised I've forgotten the cheese. So, it was jacket potato and beans. Not even had the butter. That's how... I was quite frustrated with that. But never mind, that's how it goes. So that's uh, what I had uh, at lunch. And then I've come home. I've been quite late getting home tonight. Uh, just basically I got a bit of gossiping towards the end of my shift. Uh, well, after the end of my shift, sorry, with some of my colleagues. The way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you've got a lot to uh, discuss. Um, and sometimes it's useful, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an analyst on the department, so it's useful to actually talk to people and find out what's really going on out there. Because although I used to be on that department, it does kind of help, things do change, you know, it's the way it goes, and so being friendly with them is always a good thing, I think. Uh, and I have some friends on the floor anyway, which is always, uh, well, always nice to have friends. Um, so, I got home <laughs> like 8 o'clock and I didn't actually start cooking until half 8. Um, but what I had was, it was steak, chips and veg. I had actually a pork loin steak, which you can probably barely see on this picture. Because uh, I had smothered it with gravy and I also put on the cheese that I missed at dinner. So, it was in my budget for the day anyway. I just got reallocated from lunch to dinner. Uh, I my sister's too impressed, but... She can't complain because it was in my budget. She probably put a rule in place next week saying I'm not allowed to do that again. I hope not. Anyway, and then the snack was a low-fat chocolate bar, Freddo, basically. Pretty simple. Well, simple. I, I switched and swapped a few things around. Um, for the shop, all I've really changed on that is I've dumped a couple of our, our products that I wasn't that impressed by and replaced them with other products um, and I've changed the mousse so they're going to be roller ones coming up next time I did message my sister for approval she never came back to me so sorry Sam, I'm taking it as written that I'm allowed it <laughs> um, it doesn't look too different from the uh, Milky Way ones though to be honest with you 
and this is just to keep some variety going. You know, the Freddos are simple, but I probably will look at variety of that uh, probably on the next shop as well. Um, and after this this roll around, I'll probably go back to the Aero round on the next shop and do, just rotate between the three. Or maybe I go to Capri's and see what they've got. <laughs> well, I did have a brief look, and Capri's was double the price. A uh, bit of a shame because I do like my Capri's. I've not had that for a while. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're looking forward to a, a good weekend now. So it's obviously Mother's Day this weekend. We're going out tomorrow evening with our mum. Um, on the plan for tomorrow, the time was a ready meal, but we're taking her out for a meal. So obviously, it's just a matter of waiting to see what I'm allowed to have, um, which. As my sister will be there, I'm pretty certain I'll be told what I'm allowed to have. <laughs> but uh, again, see how it goes. And everything else there for tomorrow is fairly standard. So beans on toast, my choice lunch, a uh, ready meal, which will be replaced with whatever we go out with all, and my choice snack below 300 calories. So that'll probably be the ice cream. And that's that for today. So once again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you have a good weekend. I'll see if I can get a video on on Saturday, but first time in a long time. But otherwise, you'll get an update on Sunday, which will include the weights. See you then. Bye-bye.